guys, welcome back to another episode of Pep Talk with Neelam. And look at the effect that I have done, especially for you people, because this episode is all about dreams. Hi guys, welcome back to yet another episode of Pep Talk with Neelam. And thank you so much for being my subscriber. And if you're not my subscriber up until now, make sure that you hit the subscribe button because in Web Talk with Neelam, I talk about small things but important things in our life. Starting on with this episode, this episode will talk all about the movies which we pregnant ladies, I am not pregnant right now, okay, which we ladies who all are pregnant would love to watch just to get all that clutter of reading baby books and eating properly and dieting properly and walking properly and dressing properly and everything all that crap that is filled in these nine months in our heads just to take you away from all those crap here is a list of top 10 must watch funny drama theory movies which i suggest you should watch let's start with the list number one what to expect when you're expecting this is an all-star style movie with actresses like cameron diaz and jennifer lopez and it talks about a bunch of women who are undergoing through pregnancy feeling all the hormonal effects which you are also feeling if you are pregnant right now and the way they tackle all these issues in these lives it's a must watch in my uh, list because it would give you a relief that you are not alone what you're suffering through other ladies also in other continents as well everywhere around the world feel the same trouble feel the same joy feel the same satisfaction of having another life inside them it's a must watch and number one on my list number two nine months nine months is a rom-com i would say starring julianne moore and hugh grant uh, julianne moore plays the character of rebecca whereas hugh grant plays the character of simon who is uh, in a relationship or in a five year relationship with uh, Rebecca and ultimately it turns out in the events that Rebecca is pregnant with Simon's baby. Now Simon is hilariously awkward whereas Rebecca is very um, happy about her pregnancy. Uh, the events role in the movie and the Simon who is stressed out about becoming a new father is not supporting Rebecca who wishes to get his support properly but in the end in the turn of events we see that both of them realize that having a baby is nothing more than opening a new and a beautiful chapter in life just as you are starting your chapter of being pregnant but the best role I feel in this movie has been done by Robbie Williams he plays the role of a Russian gynecologist and he is so hilarious. You would want your gynec also to be the same as he does this character into this movie. Must watch. The third movie on my list is Away We Go. This movie talks about Bert and his girlfriend Verona who take a cross country road trip while on their nine months of pregnancy. Uh, in the first five months of their pregnancy, it goes smoothly, everything. But in the sixth month, some trouble starts and Bird and Verona have to move, move out of their parents' home. And during this moving out, they decide to travel in Montreal, um, several other cities. I do not remember the rain right now. And during this time only, they discover that the home is wherever the heart loves to stay. It's a very funny movie, it's an emotional movie, it includes some drama as well. You would love to watch it and it also includes some, yes, really practical parenting stereotypes. There is a woman character named Lily who has a really bitchy tongue and there is another woman, Munch, who has had her last uh, fifth miscarriage which is also saddening. So all in all, it's a good movie to watch. The journey which these this couple has together around different continents, different cities during their pregnancy is a really nice experience. Number four, Baby Mama. Now if you're looking for something to cheer you up in this movie list, it is this movie. Kate, who is a career-oriented woman, cannot have a baby because of her T-shaped uterus to her style to have a child. And she hires a broke and 
free surrogate to bear her child. Now in the turn of events, what we see is that Angie, the surrogate, is actually pregnant with her own child and that too with Kate's ex-husband. That's a good plot. The story leads, uh, it's a funny story. We see Kate uh, guiding Angie over how to be a good mom during the pregnancy and has many funny incidences also. There's one incident I remember where Angie, the surrogate, hands um, uh, ultrasound of a squirrel when Kate asks for the ultrasound of her own baby. It's a pretty laugh and a soft-hearted movie. You can watch it. Sorry to interrupt in between, but if you are my subscriber, I have a good news for you. Do watch this complete episode in the end because I will be enlisting the details in the end. And just to give away, probably there's a gift for many of you. After that announcement, let's come to the list. And my fifth movie is The Business of Being Born. It is not a traditional rom-com. It is nothing traditional. It is a very practical movie directed by Ricky Lake. And I think every pregnant woman has to watch it. This movie talks about epidurals, about inductions, about home deliveries, C-sections, normal deliveries, everything and anything which is related to pregnancy. Actually, it's a practical guide which you would be seeing what the women are facing in US because it's a US based movie and you can relate to it. You would also come to know a lot many things which you might not be knowing or not have been handed to you by elders until now. I think it's a good movie to watch list is babies babies is one hour and 20 minutes pure sweetness of four little babies from different different continents one is from japan namibia colombia and california if i remember correctly the documentary follows the lives of these four kids from different parts of the globe uh, and in the end decides that babies will be babies. They have all different journey and especially the part played by the Mongolian baby is super cute. Let me tell you there is no dialogue in the movie but the photography is outstanding. You would be amazed by the cinematographer's work. It's an amazing movie and must watch number six on my list. Seven, Labor Pains. Lindsay Lohan is starring in this movie and it's about her character which she plays named Thea who to save her job fakes a pregnancy in front of her arrogant publisher. Now she decides to take forward this pregnancy because of course she has to uh, keep a job and during this whole process she realizes that pregnancy is so beautiful of a journey because she is being taken care of by people, people are doing things for her, she is getting pampered, getting gifts, people are nice to her. So usually as the time passes, she realizes that pregnancy is such a beautiful thing and to fake that pregnancy, she even uh, borrows a fake belly from a mannequin, which is a really funny part. Number 8. Juno. Do watch this movie, but not on the days when your hormones are skyrocketing. This movie talks about the overthinking society that we are living in, the duplicate society that we are living in. Juno is a high school girl who by chance gets pregnant and has to face all the adverse uh, situations in the society. People talk behind her back, 10 different things. She's not even invited to prom, but she holds her head high and is proud to be a new mom. She is looking for a, a, a new set of parents to adopt her baby. On any particular day, do not watch Juno on that day. On all the other days, it's a very nice movie to watch. And on my list is Waitress. The character is played by Kerry Russell. Uh, the character's name is Jenna, I believe. Um, this is about a lady who is a waitress and takes part in a pie baking contest so that the money she wins, she can use that money to separate from her husband. During this time, she realizes that she is pregnant with a child and in this whole journey, she falls, starts to love her baby which is still in her belly the child to whom she was not attached at first she starts to take care of that baby you need to watch this movie to find out if the mama to be the waitress finds motherhood happiness or not you will love the funny names which jenna gives to her pies because she's a waitress for example one name she gave was bad baby pie so it's a whimsical funny movie and um, especially I recommend it to the mothers who are freaking out just at the thought of uh, 
this coming new motherhood journey this movie will so much be related the 10th movie on my list is look who's talking if you have to watch this one movie from my list pick out this one it's a movie about molly who is an accountant who is left to have a baby of her ex-husband and she tries to nurture that baby all by herself in the meantime she is also looking out for a perfect father figure for her child and uh, in this time she meets james who is john travolta a taxi driver who helps molly to raise her child the movie gives a newborn's point of view by a voiceover of the baby which is given by bruce willis this is the best part of the movie to give an insight into the newborn's mind what he uh, what the, what a child thinks about different situations that's really funny something different and edgy from all other movies it's a fun movie to watch so this is the all my list of top 10 movies which you must watch if you're pregnant because you love all the babies giggling gargling the would be moms the troubles that you are going through share they also are going through all the same troubles i hope you would love this list because i watched all these movies and they were a really soother for my mind and now comes the part the, of the surprise that i was going to tell you out of all of my subscribers if any of you or your wife is pregnant do not forget to mention the due date in the comment section below and your addresses on my facebook page which is mentioned here mention your address on my facebook page and i would pick out i hope any two people from my subscribers and send them a beautiful gift hamper for your coming child i think that would be a gift from pep talk with neelam for your baby do not forget to mention your due date in the comment section and your addresses on my facebook page till then take care bye bye